Ideally, climber and bee layer are approximately the same weight. Weight differences between the two make it harder for the bee layer to do a good job. If the bee layer weighs substantially less than the climber, it may happen that he or she is pulled upwards in the case of a fall from the climber, if no countermeasures have been taken. This may, for example, lead to injuries of the guide hand or the bee layer hitting the wall. In both cases, control over the brake side rope may be lost. The further the bee layer is pulled up, the further the falling climber will fall down. Thus, the risk of a collision between the climber and bee layer, or of the climber falling to the ground, is increased. Increasing friction by clipping a quick draw of a neighbouring root, a weight of approximately 10 to 30 kilograms may be equalised. In the gym, you may use your own quick draw in the first intermediate anchor of the neighbouring root. This way, the course of the rope is bent and friction is increased. In an environment with little rope friction, it is advised to clip the first bolt of the neighbouring root or take other measurements, already from a weight difference of 10 kilos. If the bee layer is substantially heavier than the climber, he should bee lay dynamically to cause a soft catch as soon as there is no more danger of hitting the ground or a collision with the climber. Only this way is the impact of the climber hitting the wall mitigated and the fall becomes more comfortable. There is an extra video on soft bee laying.